Hi guys, I'm Bex. Please, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the like button. So last weekend I had the most amazing weekend ever thanks to having a handful of brilliant, wonderful friends. And I wanted to talk about this because when you're in the depths of anorexia, anorexia takes over everything. And I know with me, when I was really badly suffering from anorexia, I would tell myself, like, I, I didn't have friends, I never really saw anybody, but I'd say to myself, it doesn't matter because I have anorexia. And really, nothing else mattered other than anorexia itself. And growing up th throughout my teenage years, having friends was a real kind of issue so i did have friends but i always felt on the outside i always felt kind of left out so friends has always been an issue and anorexia kind of comforted me in that issue because i thought well no one likes me I haven't got friends but it doesn't matter because i can have anorexia instead that was the thought process that i would say to myself day in day out and it did it did act as a comfort it did work it did i it did make me think well i've got nothing in my life but at least i've got anorexia but then the more years that this goes on and on the more and more lonely i felt and i'm sure if you're out there you may be able to relate to this yes anorexia can act as a comfort but actually you still feel so incredibly lonely yes there is you and anorexia but that is a very very lonely world and it wasn't a world that i liked and i just felt anorexia is ruining my life i've got no friends and i'm now stuck with anorexia and nothing else and it went on like it's been like that for a long long time and when you're stuck in that life with anorexia completely dictating everything, completely taking over your whole life and restricting your life to just you and the anorexia, it's very hard to see a way out and to see a way of life getting better, of you having friends and doing the things you want. I mean, I couldn't see a way out. And for, I mean, for years, my one of the biggest motivations for my recovery was that I wanted to have friends and be able to go out and do things, socialise, even just go around someone's house and chill out together. It was just doing normal things with friends that I was desperate to be able to do, but I thought this, um, it's never going to happen. And for years, I lived like a recluse. I had a few friends that I may I saw very occasionally, but I found social situations hard. I still do a fair bit sometimes, but it just and it did feel for many years. Yes, I'm out of hospital. Yes, I'm managing anorexia, but it didn't feel like I wasn't living the life that I wanted. I w didn't have friends to go out and do things. I mean, anorexia restricted my, was still restricting my life very much. And whereas in the past anorexia had been a, a consolation for my rubbish life and for not having friends, okay, I haven't got friends, but I've got anorexia, I soon started to realise actually it's because of anorexia that I haven't got the life that I want. I, I'm not able to go out and do things with friends like I want to. So it was only when I was able to realise that that I really started challenging anorexia and trying to build a life and yeah I do have a very I have a few friends now but they are the best friends ever and they last weekend they gave me the best birthday surprise that I could ever have wished for in my whole life so I have friends from different areas of my life they don't know each other I see them all on an individual basis but last weekend my friend from home from school had organised for them all to surprise me at a bar in London and literally I was so overwhelmed. This is the video of when they surprised me. I just couldn't. 
could not believe that they had all come there for me and I mean when you live with anorexia it's it beats you up a day in day out like you're fat you're ugly you're unlikable you're boring everyone hates you like it's these thoughts on repeat over and over again and so even when I do go out with my friends I'm still constantly thinking I'm boring they're, they're not enjoying their time with me like the thoughts are always there but then for them all to have come for my surprise birthday last weekend I was just like wow like two fingers up to you anorexia these people do actually like me and I cherish my friends so much like they they do not understand how much they have helped me in my recovery and I think yes for years anorexia was my best friend it was my best and my only friend and that was all that mattered but anorexia is no substitute for real friends and real friends this is what I have recovered for in a large part and I would never now ever sacrifice real friends for going back to anorexia and actually this surprise birthday came at a really good time because recently I had actually been feeling oh what's the point in life like what um I've I was craving losing weight being thin and actually I was craving being in hospital for some weird reason like I, I can't even put my finger on it I was just I was feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything and being into hospitals I mean I, I know I wouldn't go back but it was seeming like a very nice escape and that the thought of losing weight would just give me that feel good buzz that I wasn't getting anywhere else and actually then going to this surprise birthday I was like this is what life is about this is so much better than anything anorexia has ever given me like anorexia the things that anorexia gives you they're very short-lived and actually they're they're fake feel goods they're not real feel goods they're short-lived fake feel goods that aren't the real feel goods of life and actually going out with friends we went to a bar we went for dinner we went to a club like it was the best day and night ever is worth so much more than anything anorexia can give you anorexia gives you nothing literally nothing it convinces you that it does but it doesn't and it takes away your friends because it did that to me it restricts your life so it's you and just anorexia and that is no life like this the last weekend showed me that people care like people care and people like you and anorexia will try and tell you otherwise but their actions speak louder than anorexia's words and you just have to as hard as it is you just have to always question the anorexic voice and when it says something to you you have to pr try and show the evidence and the reasons against it because i can tell you all anorexia tells you is lies and there is a world of evidence out there which goes against what anorexia tells you this video is kind of just to say for all those people out there who feel stuck in their anorexia who feel that they want things from life but they're a million miles away and things aren't getting any better I've been there I still feel there sometimes but truly life does get better I am evidence of that I can honestly tell you if you can fight anorexia and if you can quieten the voice even just a little bit life does get so much better doors open flexibility comes and honestly you may feel like you won't have friends but you do there is a world out there you can meet people friends you will you can have friends you can have a life you just have to find that strength to fight so please i hope you like my video it's a bit of a non-talking a bit of just like a non-topical one but yeah please subscribe to my channel thank you